Great. So now that we know we're looking for body and long tail keywords that show good commercial intent, what we want to do now is brainstorm for keywords. And to help us in that process, I'm going to show you three different tools. Now, there's many, many tools that you could use to help brainstorm, but I've selected these three because I think they're going to help you especially think in different ways. And that's really what you want to do. As we said, you want to think of keywords the competition aren't looking at, but have good volume. And so really the point of this brainstorming exercise then is to come up with about 50, 75 keywords, and then we can check the data in the Google Keyword Planner tool and see really objectively what people are searching for. So you may be thinking, well, all, if all the data is in the Google Keyword Planner tool, why don't we just start our search there? So the reason you don't want to start your search in the Google Keyword Planner tool and look for keywords is because really the tool is not that good for coming up with ideas. So let's say you're searching for drones. This is a really hot area at the moment, growing a lot. But as you can see, all the search terms, all the ideas that it generates for you are very closely related to the term that you put in. So you put in drones and it says air drones, drones, technology, you know, every word is really, um, you know, it's just modified on the base word, which is drones. So, I mean, you're going to see some good keywords there for drones, but that's the first thing that people think of. And so, uh, you know, everybody and their mother is going to be competing for these keywords. That's why you want to think differently, broaden your search um, and think about, you know, closely related, but not uh, the exact terms that maybe are very competitive. So to help us broaden our thinking a bit and come up with more ideas, we're going to use three free tools. The first one you're probably familiar with is Wikipedia, but this is great in terms of keyword research because there's always a lot of interlinking on Wikipedia pages, so you can really go to new areas, things you hadn't thought of before, and that gen helps generate a lot of ideas. Second free tool we're going to look at is reddit.com. This is essentially a website where people can submit content and links that they think are interesting. The important point about it is it's broken down into what they call subreddits, so that's subcategories. And so in there you can find very you know, detailed and deep information about a particular niche. So this is why we kind of want to go deep and go into Reddit and there's a lot of very active, passionate people in there. So that's a good place to go as well. Final one then is KeywordTool.io. This is a great tool to help generate long tail keywords. Essentially you put in, um, I say a keyword like drone, and I'll, sh I'll show you how it works. I think it's the easiest way to do it. So what we want to do is maybe get an Excel, and we're going to pop keywords into it as we go along. Um, so let's get started on that head over to Wikipedia. Great, so you have your Excel here and probably a good idea to type in a couple of keywords that you just think of yourself. So, you know, drones, drone, how to get started with drones. That says you remember like an, an information, uh, informational or awareness keyword. I'm, I'm not going to be buying anything anytime soon, but I'm interested. Best drones, as we said, this is a, a kind of review and comparison keyword finding out which is best. Um, obviously something like buy drones or drones Amazon. That'd be more like a buying keyword where I'm, I'm really ready to go. So fill that out, you know, as many as you can yourself. Then head over to say Wikipedia. This is where you want to think a bit laterally and uh, see what other related terms there are. So drones, right? Okay, remote remote controlled pilotless aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicle, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, quadcopter, quad rotor helicopter. So these are all, I mean, good ones. And as you can see, they all link off to other pages, which probably have a rotor craft, fixed wing aircraft, rotors, tail rotors. I mean, there's just this UAVs. Um, there's a whole source of keywords there that seem very, very interesting. So, next we said 
so really the purpose of Wikipedia was to really broaden out and as you can see that is a lot different from just going into the Google Keyword Planner and typing drones in so already you're off to a great start so next we want to go over to reddit.com and, and try and find some subreddits for, about drones so here's something that looks interesting as you can see there there's different subreddits so DIY drones is one UAV drones is, a, is another multi-copter drone let's just have a look in this one DIY drones so what you'll see here is is probably a lot of hardcore people talking about drones um, let's see general consensus so this looks HK this is some type of product or product part um, quadcopter part lists that could be that could be interesting people talking about the different parts if you wanted to sell on Amazon specific parts uh, quad build parts drone versus RC heli so there's you know another keyword as well um, specific questions as well that people are talking about if you're doing blog posts and if these are popular you can see how many people are talking about them so really there's a lot of stuff in there um, but you can really just explore and see what looks interesting and put them back into your um, spreadsheet so the last one we want to look at is is keyword tool dot io So this tool is like really cool for finding out long tail keywords. So let's say you put in drones, you're looking for it on Google. Um, let's just say you can change it <coughs> wherever you want. So I'm going to put it as google.com. And uh, essentially what it does is it adds a word after beginning with the letter A and then adds a word before beginning with the letter A um, and does that for every letter of the al alphabet so as you can see it has drones Amazon and then a drones eye view of conservation so what you can do here is just add individual ones and then copy it you know you can add say you can pick out whatever ones you like um, drones agriculture that could be an interesting sub niche there to get into that and uh, let's see with drones black friday drones let's see that seems like a particular product type these are all seems to be types of drones predator drones so what you can do then is copy those um and then you can just like control v paste that into your spreadsheet or whatever you have so let's just do that so there we go see so you can do that it, you might do the same for quadcopter, you might do the same for this particular Predator B drone, see what else comes up there. So really, I mean, you can brainstorm a huge amount of, of, of different words. You can take this list then and uh, put it straight into the Google Keyword Planner. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you in the next lecture.